What's going on, everybody? It's Dennis again. Been getting a lot of messages about this whole VMOS thing. Now, apparently, VMOS is the new hot chick in town. Apparently, it's basically a virtual machine that runs on your Android, and you can easily root it and convert a, convert a joystick into a system app and just start spoofing on that virtual machine. The big appeal of this is that you won't have to avoid the warranty on your phone. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into how all this works. Now, when you go to the Play Store, you should be able to find something called VMOS. Oh, there it is. Should be should be able to easily find it in the Play Store. Now, I already have all this installed so I'm not going to go through all this rigmarole. I'm pretty sure you guys all know how to install an app in the Play Store. So let's see. Let's go, up and, go ahead and open up VMOS. As usual with all my videos, no editing allowed, so this is just a live run through of how things are going to go. And for better or worse, whatever mistakes I make, it will be forever sealed on social media. Okay, so we have this virtual machine running. I have some apps that I already installed on here like Chrome, Google Drive, Root Browser, and Pokemon Go. Now for Google Chrome, you might need that. If you want to download uh, the Pokemon Go app in the virtual machine, you can always access your downloads from your actual phone and transfer it to the virtual machine. But if you don't want to do that, you're going to need to use Chrome because the, the web browser that's down here that comes with this virtual machine is complete trash. You can't even go to APK Mirror to get Pokemon Go. Now for Pokemon Go, you're not going to find that in the Play Store if you try using it on the virtual machine. It's not compatible right out of the box, so that's why it doesn't show up in the Play Store, but you can still get it from APK Mirror. Root Browser is something you're going to need after we root the virtual machine. Google Drive, you don't really need this. This is just for me to download my own spoofing apps. Okay. So how does this all work out? Well, let's see. Oh, you know what? I forgot to install something. Okay, well, we'll get to that later. Well, first thing we need to do is, well, install Pokemon Go. That's pretty straightforward. You just go to APK Mirror, download it, and install it. And you're going to need your spoofing app. Now, use whatever spoofing app you know works on a rooted system. Generally, it's going to be um new gps clever spg or gps joystick by the app ninjas those are the ones that most people use or you can try to use fgl pro either way th there's plenty of apps out there that work as a system app me i'm just going to go into my own google drive and take one of my old faithfuls there we go let's go ahead and get this installed Go ahead and get rid of that. Go ahead and allow the installation. The performance on your actual phone should be much better than this. Everything that I'm showing you right now in this video is going to lag a bit because of this all this screen recording stuff. And I'm not editing this, so I'm just going to let it just let it record. That's all I'm doing. All right. So a spoofing app is installed. Okay, it appeared over there. Uh, now the fun part, the rooting part. Let's go ahead and get that covered. Down here at the bottom right hand corner, you're gonna see this gray icon for the settings. Go ahead and tap on that. Go to system settings. And we need to go to about phone to enable the developer option. So we click 
or if we keep tapping on the build number, should be able to enable developer options. Okay, go ahead and open up developer options. All right, let's go ahead and enable root. It says that we have to restart VMOS, okay? Go ahead and click on the little floating blue box icon that's on the side over here. Turn it off. All right. Now let's go ahead and open VMOS again. Okay, here we are, back in VMOS. Okay, so now that we're rooted, we can go ahead and open up the root browser. And it's going to ask for root permissions. And we're going to have to allow that to continue with the rest of what we need to do. There we go. Go ahead and just remember the choice forever. Allow. I don't care about that. Okay. Converting the joystick into the system app. So the joystick or mostly any app that you're going to install is going to be saved under this data folder that you see here. Go to data, then click on, or I'm sorry, tap on app. And there it is. There's my spoofing app. Oh yeah, we don't need that. That's just a little tutorial thing. I'm just going to cut it. All right, I'm going to go to system. Go to Priv app, and we're just going to move it here. All right, so we took care of that. Then we're going to go back to that system folder where we saw Priv app, and we're going to delete this xbin folder right here. Let's go ahead and delete that. Bye-bye. All right, so that's gone. Okay, let's go ahead and exit the app. Now we got to unroot. So similar to what we did earlier, just going back into developer options. All right, disable root. Root is turned off. Please restart VMOS. All right, go ahead and take care of that. All right, now open VMOS again. Been hanging at 99 for a while. Again, if this looks slow, don't worry about it. It's probably because I'm doing all this recording stuff in the background and running a VM. But trust me, on your actual phone, when you're not recording anything in the background, it should go a lot smoother. Okay, so we converted the spoofing app into a system app. Okay, we got that taken care of. We should be able to just let it run. All right. Okay, where should I go? Well, I'll just go to the place that all spoofers like to circle jerk around. And we'll just go to Pier 39. But here we go again. Okay. Spoofing app is running. Let's go ahead and move that. We should be able to sign into Pokemon Go. Keep going, keep going. Now... You might run into an issue on this sign, and sometimes it's going to say unable to authenticate. And if that error shows up, 
Uh, I can try to show you how to get around it. Mm, something's loading. Okay, um, I have a feeling I'm gonna give run into that error message about being unable to authenticate. Oh, actually, wait, looks like it's going through. Okay. Looks like I'm wrong. Okay, there we are. Pier 39. Everybody's favorite place, or basically a spoofer's favorite place, other than random areas from other parts of the country. Alright. Oh yeah. It's basically a lag fest right now because of all this um, video recording stuff, but if you're not recording video and you're just spoofing normally, running the virtual machine, should not run into the lag fest that I'm looking at right now. Well, let's actually try to catch something since we're here. Oh, my stuff's full. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of some stuff. Uh, why not? I'll get rid of this guy. Alright, let's see if this guy, we can catch this guy. Yeah, that's basically all there is to it with this VMOS stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and close this out for now. Now, earlier I was talking about, well, what if you did see that error message about your account being unable to authenticate or if you run into any other sign-on issues? Well, let's see here. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go on your actual phone. So let's, let's minimize this for a second. What you're going to have to do is open up Pokemon Go on your, on your real phone, not the virtual machine, on your real phone first. Go ahead and open it up there, and it should be the same account that you're using on VMOS. Alright, that's basically it. You just open it up, and then you go back into VMOS, and then you should be able to still, should be able to just get around that error message. Oh, that's still running over there. Let's go ahead and close that down. Okay. Should be able to still sign in. Let's just be sure. Yep, here we are. Still sitting around at Pier 39. I might as well shiny check that guy since I'm already here. Ah, he went away. Oh, forget it. I think you guys understand how all that works. Okay, so that's about it for today's video. Now, there's always going to be that question, well, how long is this going to be good for? Well, that all depends on Google and how they want to manage their safety net policy. Or it's up to Nantic on how long they want to support certain versions of Android. So if we go back into VMOS, 
you're going to notice that it's actually an older version of Android that's on here. 5.1.1. These guys already brought the axe over to 4.4, so... Uh, whenever they, they decide to stop supporting Android Lollipop, that will probably be the day that this stops working, unless if the developer of this application decides to um, upgrade the version of Android that they can bring into Marshmallow if they wanted to. Well, that's basically it for today, guys. Go ahead, have fun, happy spoofing and whatnot. And I actually did have a chance to test this out on a Samsung Galaxy S10. I think it was an S10 Plus or an S10. I, I don't know. Whatever my wife got, it works on there. So, hey, go ahead and try your luck. Have a good day, guys.